Hello Internet, welcome to this channel and um, today I'm going to review the new features in uh, 1.0.5 uh, of Advanced Steamer. So there are a lot of uh, new, new features and uh, let's start uh, right away with the first one which is a new backend UI for the theme settings. So we refreshed a little bit the the back end, so if you go in the theme settings in Asvan Themer, you will see now that we have these left tabs that consent you to uh, find your values easier than scrolling all around the page. And uh, we have new categories on the top here. So the first one is CSS variables, where, we, where you can find typography, spacing, border radius, and, uh, and all this uh, stuff. The second one, the second one is classes, and you will see you will find the the grid classes and the class importer like before. The builder tricks with with all the the tabs here again, and you see the the layout change a little bit. I believe it's it's more user friendly. Extras which which contain right now the resource panel because resource is is, is a nice to have but it's not it's not really a, a, a big uh, feature in advanced steamer and I'm and I'm planning to add more here like extra stuff extra features nice to have we'll see in feature uh, settings and again all the all the tabs here so it should consent you to to have a, be a better understanding of the settings inside the theme settings. I hope so. Let me know in the comments if, if it's useful for you and uh, if you will make uh, any further improvements. Really useful for me. And uh, okay, this is the first, the first thing, the new backend. Uh, reset your theme settings. So since we moved a, a lot of data to, to make it happen, uh, we had to restructure the, the database, right? So uh, the old entries in your database are now, are now obsolete. So we need to find a way to delete them. So naturally you, you should do um, using something like PHP, MyAdmin uh, and go to your database and delete all the old uh, entries, which is quite difficult for, for people not used to database. So. I, we created here a, a new a new field, a new tab, where you can uh, just click on Reset Theme Settings and, and it will delete all your old entries automatically. Uh, be aware that doing that, you are going to delete all your current options, right? So if you added uh, variables, you really want to uh, write, write them down in, in a separated file just because you will have to to put them back after after the reset. So um, make sure to save all your settings somewhere, and then ju just click on reset theme settings. Okay, once clicked, you will see that, for example, in the builder tricks, all the default values are now uh, enabled. So as a default, there is no builder tricks, and this is correct. Um, okay, this is for the um, reset theme settings. Now the big feature, the big feature requested by the the community was the import export feature. Um, so you don't have to recreate your theme settings for each website. You just create one that uh, fit best with your with your workflow and just export it on all the other sites, right? So this is was was the idea. Um, you can now do it going in import export. You will see now uh, two different fields. The first one is uh, the export theme, of course. If you click on it, um, yeah, I'm not sure if you are able to see it, but it creates an export uh, JSON. And um, the second one is the uh, import. Once you have exported uh, this JSON, you can click on it and choose your export from the list here and just click import theme settings. And normally it should import all your, um, all your values. Make sure when, when, 
when you want to export your theme settings, it, it, it's calling the database. So you, you really want to save your settings before exporting them because all the current options, all the current values that are unsaved won't be exported in your theme settings. So this is an important uh, aspect of it. Make sure to save your settings before exporting them. Okay, this is the, um, the import export feature. Updated the default typography and spacing free scale. So we uh, removed the um, the previous default values that was uh, using the material UI uh, scale and we replace it with with uh, Utopia's free scale, which is a really, really great, um, I don't know how to call it, tool library uh, that, that create um, um, free scale on the fly. Really, really interesting tool. And I'm I'm uh, looking forward to integrate it further in uh, in advanced themer. But uh, as a first step of in integration, I just replaced the default values with the one created in uh, in Utopia. And this is uh, true for typography, and it's also true for spacing. Um, okay, this is the updated value. Resize the advanced theme pop-ups inside the builder. So this is a new layout feature inside our um, our builder. So let's make sure, since we just resetted the, the values, let's make sure that this is correct. Okay, let's uh, toggle all the, um, the builder tweaks, builder tweaks here, and uh, let's Toggle that away and let's enable this. Just save settings for now. Oh, sorry, without global AI. Save settings. Let's refresh the builder here. Now you will see that when we open, uh, let's try advanced CSS. When we open this model, you will see now three new icons on the on the top right which means you can resize the the pop-up so if you click on the, this one this will toggle will toggle the the full width with the medium width but the more interesting part is are these two here which uh, mean the, the the sidebar this one is the left sidebar if i click on it then it will automatically adapt to the size of your left sidebar and of course, the right sidebar will adapt to the structure panel. So this consent you to um, put it on the left and for example, uh, see the, the change that you make on, on the previous screen. So let's say we now want to add a class to our menu here. Let's make test three, for example. I'm activating the advanced CSS and I'm going to create my class that three and make color red and you see it applies on the fly so you, you can just style um, your components uh, with, with, uh, while previewing on, on the screen really really neat um, feature and uh, of course another Another um, use of it is the variable, pick, is a variable picker. So if you, if we go in any in any field and we activate the the variable picker, you see that that now the default value, the default uh, layout of the variable picker is the, the the left sidebar, which make it probably easier to to use when you want to select a, a variable. You can of course come back to the to the the pop up uh, by clicking here. Uh, this is the the old view, but I think it's better to use the, the left sidebar for now. And um, yeah, just a, a little a little um, little thing. Uh, I just fixed the the filter. So now if you filter H one for example H four, you will you will see only uh, the category that that has a value. Before, if you tried it before, uh, it was also listing all the, the empty categories, which was not the expected result. So the filter has been, has been improved here. 
and uh, I'm going to show you um, a little new uh, feature we see here the barrier the variable preview on over so now if if I let's say I go here and uh, in, in, in this in the first in the first header heading sorry and I go to the font size so let's go in the font size activate my variable picker and I over on my typography and you see that I see the preview of the variable applied without clicking it so you don't have to click on it see see if it is a good fit or not and if it's not you have to reopen the model and uh, change the value now you can just over on it and and uh, see what what is the good fit choose it select it click it and it's done really really game um, time saver feature okay like you see we have now um, two uh, tabs this is because in my plugins uh, I have installed uh, ACSS and like you can imagine now um, advanced themer supports uh, the ACSS variable so if I click on the second tab you will see all the variables used by ACSS framework divided by categories and you can of course filter them so if I want grid I will have all the values the grid values and it of course it supports the the new um, preview on over feature and it's really great you don't have to remember uh, over 400 uh, variables you can just type them or scroll on them and and see or or ACSS use uh, the variables great time saver too uh, let's come back to the list and uh, resize with, with it import your own CSS variable framework so this is a new feature as well let's come back in the team settings okay let's go back here and you see on the CSS variables tab let's go in import framework and we have this new tab which consent you to import your own CSS variable framework so if you are already working with uh, with variables maybe in a, in your in your style sheet or in a, your child theme um, and you just want to be able to pick them inside the builder instead of writing them down uh, on the keyboard you can do that by adding a CSS variable framework you just have to um, write the label let's say my framework framework and select the JSON file here apply it and save this is my example framework uh, I just uh, put a link on here if you open this tab in a new tab let's just have a look right now you will see the structure that need to be applied to the JSON in order to work correctly so it's a, it's a normal JSON with uh, the first level it is the category of, of your of your variables my example example one two and three and inside the category you want to put all the variables linked to this specific category pretty easy if you are if you're used to to JSONs it's super straightforward and uh, and let's just see how it goes so we save the settings how it goes in the builder let's just refresh it and hopefully now if we click on the uh, on any variable here for example you will see a new my framework tab that you can click on it open and you see the new categories divided and the new variable that you can preview click on it select it just like uh, you can filter them of course so if you have value 4 we will have our test bar 4 here just like the other one so you can create your own and um, if you have a lot of uh, variables it's probably easier to maintain if you have your own JSON file and just want to add in bulk all your all your categories and variables pretty neat feature as well okay uh, allow upload JSON and CSS so of course with 
with this new uh, feature, uh, JSON files are no are not. Um, you, can, you can't upload on the media libraries natively in uh, the JSON file. So you have to uh, somehow allow WordPress to upload these kind of files. So we, we made it easy and created a setting for that. If you go in the settings tab and go in permissions, you will see now a new, a new field here, file upload format permission. And you can just select JSON and also CSS uh, for the class importer. Just save your settings and now you, are, you will be able to upload JSON files inside your, inside your, your framework import. Really straightforward. Um, variable preview and over, I talked about it already. ACSS variable support already, already reviewed. Customize the tabs inside the advanced CSS panel. This is a really easy as well. Let's just delete the JSON for now. Let's go to uh, the Builder Tricks uh, tab. And if you enable Advanced CSS, you will now see a new panel here where you can choose which tabs you want to display on inside the Advanced CSS. So uh, before you add uh, the page CSS, the global CSS, the child team, the imported CSS, and also tab for CSS variables and also AI assistant. Uh, some of you found uh, this, uh, this a bit confusing because the only tab that you can actually save inside the builder is a page CSS. The other one are more to, to preview um, the existing settings, but you can't just change and save them. Then this is a limitation from, from Bricks. And uh, you may not use it at all. So uh, you can just now deactivate all the, the tab that you don't need, save settings. Let's just reload again the builder. And you'll see now, if I open that band CSS, there are no tabs here. And you can just go styling your, your CSS right away without distraction. Little cool feature. Um, the other ones, the, the, the last ones are, are bug fix. So there was a, uh, a bug fix related to the license management used by advanced CSS. Um, uh, advanced, sorry, the advanced team or not advanced CSS. And this should be solved right now. So. Uh, there was a conflict with other plugins that were using uh, easy digital download license management and uh, it created a, a link expired when you were trying to activate the license. This now should be fixed. There was also uh, another bug on Safari only when you opened the grid color. So I'm referring to this grid color. Uh, the colors w weren't actually uh, a perfect cycle. It was uh, some kind of oval. And uh, we tweaked the CSS in order to make it uh, fixed on Safari as well. Um, enhance Firefox support. So uh, in our previous code, we use the has function, which is a, a CSS pseudo element uh, class. And um, unfortunately, Firefox doesn't support it uh, yet. And it created a lot of uh, console errors and, uh, and design issues. Um, so we, we made sure to remove all the, the, the S uh, function and we just double checked that it, it wasn't creating uh, errors anymore and all the features in, in uh, Firefox should now be supported as well. Okay, this is the end of this uh, quick overview of the, the, the new features in 1.0.5. Let me know in the comments if you find it interesting, if you have suggestion, improvements, suggestion. And uh, see you soon for another overview of Advanced Theme. Bye-bye.